Steve from ArcaWizard.com, eMiniWizard.com, on the 2nd of August, a Friday, 2019. And it is uh, about 9.25. Mining traders use risk capital you can afford to lose. All right, we've had a rather <clears throat> sharp sell-off in the last couple of days. We said to expect perhaps the oversold bounce. We've got that already. We've had a directional move theoretically now from low to high, which says you should be able to buy a pullback. So I'm going to still think neutrally, two-way day, We've got a gap below us. We said, let's use that 28 to 32 support. Make sure you're paid coming in ahead of the gap at 31 and a quarter. That's where they get us. And we've got, obviously got a range that we've got to contend with. And, and we need setups. Okay, the first setup, usually, you, you know, double bottom type idea. Double top type idea. And then... You, you'll finally get some substance um, after a while with a range type trading. We were looking at this chart earlier today. Uh, I said be very careful about getting caught near the lows. I don't want to get caught for a couple of points. And we also suggested that theoretically, we can hit a bounce, but we don't want to overdo it. I don't want to think just jackrabbit like yesterday. I want to think we need to do some fighting today. And I certainly want to think that the shorts who've had a great week need to take some profits. So that's part of the reason why I said I think a beach ball today might give us a bounce. So, so far the profits were taken pretty quickly from that 60 zone, which is the way I'd like to see it. That's about a 1% move. So, so this has played out very nicely for anybody who took the edges. And I said, you can hit a couple bounces, but that third one's the one that gets you. So anybody that heeded that, good for you. If you didn't buy, no worries. But if you took the short, which is a morning after trend day idea, from an overreaction, then that's really, in my idea, that's probably one of the best trades we're ever going to get today, is an overreaction and then come back for the gap close. I love that trade. Because, because the longs at that point are thinking, okay, we got them now. But in reality, we needed profit taking. So I'm looking at this like a megaphone pattern. And the reason I say that is because we've got a couple of things in this area that really need to, to be concerned with. And one of them is at 47, um, last year's high, because that's what we're really fighting over right now. Can, can we get below and stay below last year's high? All right, anybody at the open, reminder, we've had several different closes, All right, And I'm going to use that. 48.75 area. To 51. As our gap area. And you can see on this chart, which is a five minute chart, where we stalled at this blue line, 61 and a half. So I said, make sure you're paid by 62s. All right, we're going to be opening up. Do a little play-by-play. -play. Those of you who are uh, breaking early today, why not? Try to spread your trades out. If you're here for a bit, spread them out. Don't do everything all in the same location. We're going to be open up in that 45 zone. We've got multiple gap situation. My suggestion, think small. We're going to get a couple of rotations, and then we'll start to, to get a feel for which direction they want to take it. As always, the prior day's low, we said we need to monitor. Because below that, we're looking for new territory. Above it, we're, we're bouncing. Right now, this is the key battle. Anybody that's been blessed 
with a great trade on the, uh, on the comeback or contra must be paid by this open. Uh, that's just an axiom. And we're going to do some range trading. Play well. <laughs>